custom audio mutation. If you made it through the Lion King, there's a reason for it. I actually wanted to brag for a pimento and uh, show off a couple of cool pieces of gear here at the Custom Audio Mutation showroom. Um, first of all, would be this uh, uh, Ibanez Ha Ha Not gem that I just finished building. Um, found a company online that does swirl finishes on reverb. Really cool uh, Passion and Warfare color scheme on a rear routed gem with just two humbuckers. Totally my style. And Floyd Rose, all that good stuff. Found a knockoff, uh, probably an Indonesian uh, gem neck that's a blend. It's got paint flaws in it. So I refretted that, redid the, made the radius uh, 16 inch to uh, work with the Floyd Rose. Put a Floyd Rose on it. Uh, DiMarzio Steve Special, designed by Steve Blucher. And DiMarzio Aaron Norton, also designed by Steve Blucher from DiMarzio. Um, you can get these online or anywhere. You can get them from me. I'm a dealer as well. Uh, I've been endorsed with DiMarzio since I was about 27, so 180 years ago. And I put in a DiMarzio 5-way super switch, which you heard on the clean stuff, all the cool little in-between coil series parallel fun stuff. And just, uh, you know, wanking a little bit. Also, wanted to, this video is a two-part uh, two gear thingy in one video. Um, I want to show off and talk about the Synergy amplifiers. A lot of guitar players, A, don't know about this, and B, don't know what the hell it is. And it's really awesome. For all of you tone chasers out there that have 40 different amps, this can take care of about 30 of them. Ha, 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 ha. And it's really cool. Um, so anyway, everything you were hearing was the Synergy amp running two different modules, and we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, the gem, my fake gym, whatever, uh, running through my live and tour pedal board, which you can't see in the camera, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, through an Eventide H3000, uh, or no, H9 Max, and a Moore uh, Ocean Machine, the Devin Townsend Delay Reverb Pedal, which is one of my favorite Delay Reverb Pedals on, on the face of the earth. So... <laughs> Super skinny string, so a little bit of stretching still going on. Hey, so pretty good. Still stretching a bit. Anyway, um, so the Synergy gear, this is a 50 watt, this is the Syn 50 head. So this is an all tube 50 watt 606 based power section with a series effects loop and I'm running my pedals on a four cable method. So I'm plugging my guitar into the front of my pedals and uh, those are going into the front of the amp and then the effects loop pedals, the Eventide and the Ocean Machine are going through the loop. That's what they call a four cable method. And uh, because it uses four cables, so one going into the pedals, one coming out of the distortion and drive pedals, and then two cables, one for the send and the return, going through your effects loop pedals. I have all of those going through a, a, a Muin uh, GEC8 Live, which has MIDI and stuff for loops, for switching things in and out, but I'm kind of keeping it stripped down a little bit, so you'll hear me, like there's the even type, through the loop, there's a phase 90 that I build that's going through the front, and here's the EVH flanger, some drive pedals. You didn't hear any of the drive pedals. That's the, oh god, I don't even know what the hell that was. So I got two different drive pedals, and I got a noise gate. Just a Boss NS2. But anyway, uh, I digress. So the Synergy here is a modular guitar amplifier. So you purchase the head shell, which comes with the power amp. And then it's got these two slots. I'm going to put it on standby and power it down. You can hot swap stuff, but it makes a big loud bang, which scares me and scares guitar players. And this cute little thing, check this out, is your preamp. It's like a video game cartridge. It's all tube, nothing solid state, no modeling, nothing like that. This is the Steve Vai module, so it's got a distortion channel and a clean channel, uh, voiced for what the mighty Mr. Vi likes, which is why I've got this plugged into it, because you have to, right? 
And I also have the SLO module plugged in here. Oh, look. Soldano 100 and a Soldano 30. Yeah, I sell those too. They're amazing. But the really cool thing is that the SLO module is almost, is not even almost, it's dead nuts on with the SLO 100 and the SLO 30. It, the tone of it, the, everything about it is phenomenal. So you can swap in and out your modules, and they have like a million and one modules. The Friedman modules, the uh, Engel Savage module, the uh, uh, Diesel VH module, um, Fender Blackface, Marshall Plexi, JC800, all these really cool different modules. So from a studio standpoint, which I also run a studio, I can grab one of those modules, plug it in. You want a Fender Blackface? Here you go. You want, you know, a, a Diesel? Here you go. You want an SLO 100? Here you go. You want to sound like Steve I? Yes, please. Here you go. And it's MIDI programmable, MIDI in and out on it. Easy to say MIDI presets. It comes with the cute and adorable, nice heavy duty foot switch that runs on a seven pin MIDI cable. So it powers itself from the head. You hear it fire up. The other cool thing is most of the switching is handled by actual big heavy relays. So you hear the kick, 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 kick when you first fire it up, which is awesome. Nice. I love mechanical instead of opto. Uh, it's a whole other thing. We're not getting into a case. But you can program any one of, each module is two channels. You can program any one of the module channels to any one of the foot pedals. So I have channel one on the red SLO, which is like the big high gain. So that's the SLO uh, channel right there. Controls are at high noon, gains uh, at about, uh, what, what do they call that? Uh, three o'clock. So the gain isn't all the way up. No drive pedals, no noise gates or anything going on with the pedal board. Now I can put the noise gate, the noise pedal, which I have right through the loop. And I'll tighten that up to get more of the metal. <laughs> useful the noise gate is in the front kids anyway um that's the slo i've got kind of that set up as my rhythm channel and then preset two and i'm all out of tune it's new strings And you heard the guitar going through all of its single coil and humbucker settings, and it just, it handles. It handles everything wonderfully. That's kicking in the ocean machine. Slap delay on the uh, even tight. Ha ha! <laughs> you know, whatever. Anyway, that's so we've got our clean channel uh, going, jumping back to the Vi module. Uh, number three is going to the Vi module, the lead channel, which is a big thick. <laughs>
drive pedal there because the, uh, I feel like the Vi's a little woollier and uh, looser in the low end, which I, I th uh, clearly is on purpose because I, if you listen to Steve I Live, sometimes a lot of his stuff has a big wooly loose tight, or a wooly loose um, lead line stuff going on. So the treble notes are a little full. Versus like the SLO, which is a little thinner, a little brighter. And uh, channel four, oh, I put on the uh, the blue Saldano channel. I don't know what that's modeled after or, or vibed after. If There's no clean channel on the SLO module. <laughs> maybe a lead channel uh, it's got a little more mid-range bump in it uh, then the gain I've got dimed all the way the EQ controls all stay the same it's a shared EQ on the SLO some of the modules have shared EQ some don't uh, it just depends on the module like the Vi has two distinct separate EQ controls which are great one for the clean one for the gain um, I think like the angle is shared the, v, uh, the VH4 is shared that's the diesel one uh, the Friedman uh, BE is se separate, I believe. Eh, don't quote me on all that, but, you know, you go to the Synergy website, you'll see all of that stuff. But it's just amazingly cool. Um, density and presence control and master volume. The density, it's a resonance control, let's just be honest. And a presence control, what else but the presence? Hey, there you go. So, I just wanted to, real quick, it's not that quick, the video's kind of long, but I want... I wanted to show off this really cool guitar in this building. And I wanted to show off the Synergy stuff. So they make a 30-watt combo, uh, which has a pre-built clean channel in it. I don't know if the clean channel is all tube or not. I'll find out because I have one on the way for the shop. And then uh, one slot. So you, it's a three-channel, 30-watt, 112 combo. Woohoo! Very cool. And then the 50-watt head, I think they make a 30-watt head. And then they make a rack mount set. So rack mount, 50-watt power amp, and a two-slot uh, preamp rig. So you can... Combine it with your Axe Effect stuff for all your processing and all that cool stuff, and use real tubes for your your input and your output tones, and um, you know, really flexible. Recording out, XLR out. Um, and there's a built-in load, so when you use the XLR out, you don't have to have the amp plugged in. I would want to double check that on the uh, website, but I think that that's a feature uh, as far as the no no uh, speaker plugged in type thing. But it's a tube amp, and I think tube amps sound great through speakers. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much it. I just, I'm super excited about this guitar I finished building today. And, um, you know, what the hell, I'm going to wank and noodle a little bit. Because guitar is awesome, and everybody should play guitar as much as possible. <laughs>